seven car garage. I kind of get it. Like sometimes people have a, a, a cabin in the mountains and they have a crappy little car that they use. Seven? I get like a boat, you know, an old Buick that no one else is going to drive, but It's a lovely term. I think it gets bandied about in ways that can be problematic. Like, for instance, the person I know who was trying to start an organization in Tennessee. She was a white woman working with a white man and trying to have an anti-racist orientation to the work they were doing. I don't know that that can be done without some kind of multiracial or multicultural engagement. I don't want to sound too academic, but I also don't want to sound too dumb. It's like you're really leaning into those ruts, you know, you're deepening the ruts, those wagon wheels that crossed this country in an entirely anti-racist way, right? Like colonizing Wyoming had zero racist connotations. <laughs> and maybe you are deepening those ruts that are 200 years old, that are 500 years old, millennia old, 50, seven and a half years old, three months old. If you are just in your pattern, which is your job. It's my job to be in my pattern, her job to be in her pattern, their job to be in their patterns. It's, 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 our, it's our, our job. It's our job to be who we are and to be in our own rhythms which is why coming together can create better work than just being a team of two horses pulling forward and by necessity wearing blinders. No matter how strong you are as a team, you're two and not three and not five and not 50 and not 500 and not thousands and not seven and a half.